I want to frolic barefoot. You know, I about pissed myself when I saw your text. <laughs> Good morning, dude. We've been so all day, dude. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't call. Like the end driveway. Did you? Oh, dude. Oh, man. You out here at eight, right? Yeah. yeah. Dude. Holy. Clear vision. What you want. What's up, fish tank people? Fishtanktv.com, Dawson's Fish Tank, bringing it to you on a Sunday, baby. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the foundation and the construction of this wonderful little concrete parking lot. We're also gonna talk about the foundation of your aquarium, but it's Sunday. You know we're gonna get a little woo-woo with you, and we might even show you a species or two. But first, you know, I got to get a little bit woo-woo with you, and I think now is as good a time as any to quote the late, great Jim Rohn here when he talks about doing a project. He says, when's the best time to start a project? When it's finished. When you have a crystal clear vision of what you want, then it's time to begin. Then you know exactly where you are going, and when times get tough, and they will get tough, when things get hard, you have a guiding light steering you in the direction where you want to go because you started when it was finished. And this fish tank, people, is starting to look like what it looked like when it was finished in my mind well over a year ago. And I'm excited to be sharing with you all an update of how it's going as it gets finished. Hey, all you plant people out there that are doing more than just fish tanks, what should I do with the landscaping out here and here and here? and over there, drop me a comment on what kind of plants and stuff you would put out here. All right, so first I wanna start talking about what's been going on with Greenhouse 2.0. I wanna talk about the concrete. I've been using my man, Mark Hemingway, Hemingway Concrete. He did the original oversized piers for this place. He did the slab for the greenhouse and in the pack out barn area. He also did the original greenhouse slab and greenhouse 1.0 why not have him do the parking lot? I'll tell you why not. The biggest reason, money. Concrete isn't cheap. I could have done the entire parking lot for about two thirds the price of concrete with asphalt. This was something that I debated over and over and over again. Why spend the cash on something that I'm not gonna get my money quickly back out of? Here's why. My current house in Kentucky has multiple big old cracks in the asphalt that every spring some local yokel comes up and asks me if I can pay him $300 to seal it and fix it. Additionally, I remember my dad's house up in Flag City where he had asphalt for the drive when he was constantly dealing with the massive circle of constantly cracking asphalt where he was always trying to gettily repair it. But then it comes down to, all right, Dustin, what do you want? Remember folks, people in life don't get what they want because they don't know what they want. And I want to frolic barefoot all the way across my parking lot in the summertime. Remember when you were a kid and you learned the painful lesson of running across hot black asphalt with no shoes on? Yes, both me, myself, Josh, Andrew, and Ryan all run around this place barefoot. Quite frankly, I wanted to run out to the parking lot with no shoes on and not worrying about burning my feet. But there's another reason involved with me using concrete as the parking lot instead of asphalt. I don't know how big of a factor this could be, but it is worth noting. This property is relatively high up. There's not a lot of trees around. It's gonna be in full sun. It gets hot here in Kentucky. I have a greenhouse that I'm going to battle to try to keep cool. I do not wanna put a giant asphalt heat sink close to one of my beloved opening guillotine vents that would potentially be pulling in hot air from the hot asphalt parking lot into my greenhouse. And finally, there is one thing with these types of decisions that I've had to do quite often in this construction of Greenhouse 2.0, and that is this. In one, two, three, five, six, ten 10 years from now, I don't wanna look back on an asphalt parking lot and be kicking myself going, man, I wish I had spent the extra 10, 12 grand to get that thing done in concrete. Concrete it is. Oh, by the way, there's an ace in the hole with this one. I consulted my father-in-law, the all-knowing wise Poppy, multiple times on this. 
Poppy helped me work through between the pros and the cons of concrete versus asphalt. And I'd love to get your feedback on this. What would you have done if you were in my shoes? Drop me a comment, those of you know about construction. Should I have done asphalt or should I have done concrete? Okay, now one of the things that Poppy talked to me time and time again about was the construction of the base and of the foundation. I'm gonna tie this back into aquariums here in just a second. Poppy told me, no matter what you go with, you need to make sure you have a good base to go under it. Remember all those twos I had all over the place? Poppy was telling me to make sure I have a good five to eight inch base underneath those twos. What Poppy says, Dustin does. Quick note, you might remember how I had some issues getting the drain in at the end of the parking lot? Well, to make matters a bit more challenging for the guys pouring this, I dropped the final floor height of the building four inches. So there was much less drop from the concrete slope to the drain. Everything had to run, per the engineered prints, from one end of the parking lot all the way down to the drain. But if you want to do this right, like Poppy says, you've got to have a good foundation. All right, so let me stop for a second. Let me pull this back into the Planet Aquarium for you all. Not one day goes by, not one, where I don't get an email, message, even phone call from somebody asking, I've got great lights, I don't understand why my plants are dying. Let me take it all the way back to the good foundation in your aquarium. This is the first dirted tank that I did back over 10 years ago. What did I do with this aquarium? I took the time to make sure it had a good foundation. I made sure we had a good substrate. Remember, boys and girls, plants absorb four to 400 times more nutrients through their roots than through their stems and leaves. Plants need to eat, they like to eat at their roots, so feed them at their roots. This is how I set up a five gallon, this is how I set up a 90 gallon, this is how I set up a 900 gallon at the Newport. It takes way more work up front, but it's ultimately much less work in the long run. Folks, you might remember this aerial footage of the construction of the greenhouse and of the building going up. I had my guy with the drone all set up to shoot this thing being poured the other day. Well, when we showed up, both Andrew and myself at eight o'clock, it was already rolling and already almost done. What's up, dude? So I about pissed myself when I saw your text. <laughs> Good morning, dude. We missed the whole thing, dude. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't call. Like the end driveway. Did you? Yeah, oh, dude. Oh man. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Trying not to cry in front of the concrete guys. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome, dude. I'm, I'm super pumped. You see it all coming together. It's, uh, people don't realize like how many times I went over my head. Like, do I want to spend? 15 grand more on concrete. Concrete looks awesome right now. It's not done, but uh, I mean, the concrete makes it like moi. So, I don't know. Rambling tears my eyes, that's it. A little woo woo for you. Doesn't get all the in and I gotta stay woo woo real quick with the foundation, talking about how is the foundation of the relationships you are establishing with your children. This is as much for me as it is for you. Are you going to their swim meet when they show up and win first, or are you late because you've been messing around in the greenhouse? I made the swim meet, by the way. How's the foundation in the career you're in? Is the career heading you in a path that you would like to go where you can see yourself five, 10 years from now? Remember, people in life don't get what they want because they don't know what they want. Are you where you want to be or headed to where you want to be? But enough of the woo-woo. I got to talk about the foundation of some of the plants I got going on in here. But I got to show you the foundation of some of the good stuff we got growing. One of my favorite foreground plants on this species Sunday, talking about dwarf. Sagittaria sublata, also known. Kids on the street call it dwarf sag. And it goes a little something like this. This is a skank tank. My man Andrew can come around here. This is a 15 tall, which is basically an extinct species of tank as far as I'm concerned. We got some Richia floating on the top. This is a tank. This actually has the fluval stratum in it, but this is an aquarium that we have done. And we have, uh, you know, old school tank, but I want to show you. Look at the epic growth we are getting in full sun. This is a well-fed Plant. Look at this mat of just an entire, like, plants eat at their roots. Got it? See how that plant is growing nuts with that? Like, that is not an accident. This plant is growing, heavily growing, because it's got a ridiculous amount of light, i.e. the sun, and it's got a heavy, heavy, nutrient-rich substrate with the fluval stratum in there. So 
totally growing bonkers. Let me show you the difference with this, though. This is a Sag Skank tank. This is a Val tank that this tank does not have good substrate. This is just pool filter sand. Now, Val does okay in it. This was planted um, just uh, like I think a couple days after I started planting Val in the main system, but I want to show you the difference in the growth. This is growing. Let there be no doubt about that, but check this out. But look at the difference between the way this is growing, and I've been showing you this almost every week. Look at the way this Val is growing in here. Same amount of light, this Val getting more and more ridiculous every time I show it to you. It's also getting some nice little red veins in it. And this is also growing in the stratum as well. And you can see this is longer growth, lusher or whatever. So plants eat at their roots, feed them at their roots, get your tank. Do the work up front, folks. Reap the benefits of it. You see the roots in there? How are we gonna kick it? Gonna kick it root down, gonna break it all down, gonna kick it root down. It's not a put down. I put my foot down. Then I'm making some love, I put my root down. Do me a favor, folks. Drop me a comment on how we're rolling here at Greenhouse 2.0. What do you want to know about how we're growing plants in here? What do you want to know about the construction of the concrete? And what's your opinion on how we should roll with a little bit of an opening party? Everybody making an awesome week. Hit the subscribe button and tank on. Later!